Oh, I'm really gonna never get that Walk the Moon song out of my head, am I? Black Mirror time again, and it's one that I know a lot of people have been saying they really are interested to see my reaction to, and that is Shut Up and Dance. So this one, I, I have a feeling that this one did not impact me as harshly as it did a lot of people, judging by not only my own comment section, but sort of popping on to uh, IMDb and reading some user reviews. Cause I, I, the, once it ended, I found myself thinking, okay, that was good, but like, did I miss something? Cause I, I didn't like, I didn't, it, I didn't have my mind blown by the twists that it had in store. One of them actually, honestly, I kind of don't like for a, a reason that might be unique to me, but I'll, I'll come back to that. Um, and, you know, I found myself going, no, it's good. I wouldn't say it's not good, but it's not, um, it's, it's not mind blowing and it's not really messing with me emotionally the way that a lot of these things do. And, um, so I've had to, to dig into the reviews a little bit. And I, I, I think it's mainly that final reveal about Kenny uh, and, and the nature of exactly what it was that he did that is being used to blackmail him, which um, gives a lot of people that, uh, yeah, I guess sort of that icky feeling because I get, I, spoilers, you, 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 it's in the title. The, the fact that you come to realize that you have been feeling bad for and in a way rooting for, you know, a pedophile. And, you know, that's, I think that's a probably a very uncomfortable and rather sickening feeling for a lot of people. And, and I understand that for some, well, I think I know why it didn't hit me quite the way I wanted, which was that there was something about the episode prior to that reveal that I really liked, and that reveal kind of took it away. Um, and this happened to me to a certain extent with um, uh, Hang the DJ as well, because I kind of liked in how the logic of that one worked internally better than the final reveal of what was actually going on. And you get the bigger picture and go, oh, so it wasn't quite what I thought it was, but I really liked what I thought it was. So in this case, what I liked about the way it appeared to be prior to that final reveal was that they just needed this dumb kid to, you know, ju just be scared enough to give his phone number initially and and you know they've got a video of him jerking off and you get someone young enough someone scared enough someone in an uncertain enough place in their social life and their standing and in, in you know what their future is and you can I, I can buy that he makes that first mistake of giving his phone number um, based off just not wanting a jerk off video out there and then what happened after that, as things got pushed further, it, what I liked about what I thought was going on was he was being pushed to do things that were no longer reasonable to simply cover up a jerk off video. Because I mean, initially go to this location. Okay, take this cake. Uh, okay, deliver it to this guy. Okay, so you know, once it started pushing to the level that is like, okay, this is the point where he would go, no, it's not worth it for what it, what it is that they're going to expose me for. When it hit that point, he was being paired with characters who had a lot more to lose than he did and who were going to push him and made sure that he did it so that they held up their end as well. Initially, we had that, you know, with the uh, with the guy from the hotel and then later on the guy with the guy in the woods. So like that fight to the death, you don't need Kenny to be willing to step it up to be in a fight to the death. You only need the other guy to do it so that Kenny is then fighting for his own life. So I liked this idea that what he did wasn't even that bad, but it was it scared him enough to get him in. And then once he was in, the, the system or whoever was doing this kept setting him up with people that would ensure he kept getting pushed by them, if not by the threat of blackmail in and of itself. 
So the final reveal that what they had on him, i.e. what he was jerking off to, actually did uh, justify as a hard word, but did make sense that he was going to go that distance even if he wasn't being paired off with people who would have kept pushing him. That, it's not a bad twist, but it, it, for me, it took away an aspect that I really liked um, and, and made the, the episode something else instead. And it's not a poorly thought out twist. It's not a poorly played twist. It, it's just, this is just a case where what gets lost because you find out, oh, it wasn't that, is I, I put more, I, I had more interest in what we lost rather than what we gained. And what we gained was just sort of a ugh, feeling towards Kenny, which I suppose for other people just hit them harder than it hit me. I mean, it's not like I'm going, oh, it's fine. I can't. Well, no, that's made me <laughs> uncomfortable and it's messed up, but it didn't, it didn't, it didn't hit me to my core. And also, the, unfortunately, the intellectual, the non-emotional part of my brain kicked in almost immediately and went, oh, that thing that I liked, that's not really what was going on. So that kind of also lessened the impact of this uh, this final twist, this final reveal. I've been going on mainly about the, the back end of this. Let's, <laughs> now that I've talked all about the ending, let's back up for a minute. This is well constructed and the escalation is very well paced across the whole thing. And I, I suppose another thing is, I, I figure eventually he, somebody's gonna be asked to kill somebody. There's no way this doesn't go to that level so you know the fight to the death I don't know if that was supposed to be like a oh my god like who didn't like the minute this stuff started like that's the final point of escalation it has to be why else do this so that I also saw coming but it does still pace itself really well and it brings in other people at the right point I did love him knocking at that door it gets open up and I mean like bro um, you know, that's, you know, Game of Thrones, that's what I know him from. So that, that was, that was fun. And that immediately kind of was like, oh, this is just got even better because I like him a lot. I, well, I mean, I love him on Game of Thrones. He's, that's a terrific character, but I, I just like him as a presence. Um, and he, and he worked really well for this. And again, I, I bought it with him pushing things, you know, because of the threat of losing his kids that he, that he was pushing a bit harder than than Kenny was and he was taking the reins a bit more on the whole situation and of course the very end all the stuff gets leaked anyway because of course it does why that's always the uh the thing and, and it's why I, I think in a case of something like this it's important that these messages keep coming at a rapid pace and it keeps these people moving and keeps their adrenaline pumping because that you know, you're you're in fight or flight basically and that keeps you from slowing out stopping thinking why would they not release this after i'm done what, what do they what do they have to lose if they're already willing to mess with me this much why would they not mess with me that one extra mile and release it regardless but you know you keep people moving and you keep the you, you keep dangling the carrot in front of them um and you know as, as long as you don't overplay your hand they'll keep pushing but if, of course they're going to release it regardless why wouldn't they they have nothing to lose and if they're if they're doing this for any level of amusement that's probably funny to them so uh, I mean so in a way that was another thing that I saw coming I don't know if it was something that caught other people off guard I mean I, I genuinely just don't know but you know again just watching just <laughs> just getting a snapshot of ruined life after ruined life after ruined life and it's just oh boy wasn't worth it was it and um, yeah I <laughs> I feel like I've probably come off as being down on the episode. I'm not. I really like it, but I feel like I, I had to... I've spent a lot of the last half hour or so just sort of 
working over in my head why this didn't hit me the way that it seemed to hit a lot of people or as hard as it did. And that so that's what I've put the most thought into. That's what I ended up talking the most about. But it's good. I mean, it's really good. The The acting is all good. Like I said, it's incredibly well paced. It it moves at a good clip and it escalates at, a, at, at the correct levels and at, at the correct pacing. And you know, it, if I didn't have my intellectual brain taking me out of that moment, you know, and, and recognizing, you know, the, the lost aspect that I talked about already, that final, that final reveal about Kenny probably would have hit me harder if not for that. And it would have given me that, oh God, you know, that, that realization that you've, you've had sympathy or even empathy with somebody that, all of a sudden you learn this horrible thing about it. It just makes you like sick to your core. And I didn't have that. And I might have if I if I didn't have that, you know, that whole thing going on that, that I talked about, you know, the losing the element of the story that I thought was there that I had really liked. And I couldn't stop my brain from kind of registering that immediately. So whatever impact that moment had, it wasn't enough for like it wasn't like i had the thought after the episode ended like oh but it kind of it kind of took away that thing instead i had it like as i was watching it sort of took me out of the emotional moment i suspect that is just me though so i'm weird that's the upshot of all this but shut up and dance have you seen it? What did you think about it? Whatever your thoughts are, drop something down in the comments. Let's talk about it. There's all the stuff to do, like support me on Patreon and send stuff to my P.O. box and follow me on Twitter, blah, 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 blah. Links for all that stuff is down in the description. So until next time, this council is adjourned.